for Wednesday morning. It's sort of a bit overcast, but um, I guess it's the perfect day to stay in and do some bead work. And today I've got something really exciting to show to you. I have been working on this on quite some time and um, I just, you know, I love gemstones and I love working with gemstones and I love working with all <coughs> sort of different types. Uh, <coughs> I always, sorry, let me just take a sip of my coffee. My voice is going. I always have, I always very, I find it very interesting that uh, we always gravitate to one gemstone or another. Uh, for me, it's definitely Labradorite is one of them. I love Amethyst. I love Rose Quartz. I love I love quite a few of them. <laughs> so I'm so glad today we get to we get to work with them. And I put a really special kit together because often we just put bracelets or necklaces or earrings together. And today with the kit, you can do all three of them. So you can make a whole set. Of course, like you don't have to wear it together or, you know, you can make more of one or the other but uh, it will make a whole set. And we have got a beautiful 12 millimeter gemstone, semi-precious gemstone in there, as well as pearls and crystals and seed beads. And I'm gonna show you a pattern, which I know we have done hugs and kisses before, but which today we're gonna work it differently because we're gonna do it by unit by unit by unit as we go along. We're gonna do the base and the top at the same time. So. Um, it's going to kind of give a, a different flow to the whole um, jewelry making. So very quickly, I'm going to say hello and then I'm going to pop you over to the website and show all the kits for you. And then I'm going to show you, I don't even know, probably it's better to show you them in real because some of them are so, so beautiful. But very quickly, just want to say good morning. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Rachel. Rachel says bright and sunny where she is. Edward, good morning, Camilla. Good morning, Camilla. I got an orange one for you, of course. <laughs> Anita, good morning from South Africa. Angela, good morning. Frosty, where she is. Um, good morning, Mina. Jen, good morning. I got the uh, shutter shut on my window. Um, I was so worried that because I got only single glazed and I was so worried the house is going to be so cold. But actually, the shutters, when they are shut in onto the window, they keep so much heat in. It's it's amazing how um, how in the olden days people design things. Um, good morning, Jen. Good morning, Mina. Annie, good morning. Lisa, good morning. Jen, this bright and crisp in Sudbury, she's saying. Um, Janie, good morning. Please turn on closed caption. Ooh, um, I'm not sure if I can go into the back end uh, right now, but what I am going to do after when we finish the live, I can, when the video processes, I can turn it on then. Jessica, good morning. And Jen is saying, I'm loving these kids. I'm loving them too. I just love, I, I love this look, but I will show you just in a second. Um, Linda, good morning. Joanne, good morning. Somebody's saying, look, that's, thanks, Kitty. <laughs> that's the orange one. Well, I got, is it 24, 25 different colors? So I really, really worked on quite a lot of colors for this one for you. Because like with, with these kits, it's not just the colors, but it's the gemstones as well. Because some people might, they, they gemstone is might be rose quartz or amethyst or gray agate or you know labradorite or howlite or whichever one you want to be gonna i'm gonna go through it just in a second uh, oh i can see the christmas bundle behind kitty and my order was dispatched yesterday yes so some of the christmas bundles have been dispatched yesterday yes they, they, they are they are just there on the table i'm hoping actually as well i'm waiting for fedex today to turn up so there's gonna be a shelf going there and then, then that sort of side of the room will be sorted hopefully this week as well. There's just so much going on. Um, but yes, they are the Christmas bundles. I have kept them out because I'm sort of ready to work with it. And every single time I walk past, I just look at them and I'm just like, oh, they're nice. What, 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 this bead and that bead and what I can do with it. So I'm really looking forward to do the holiday club over the Christmas period. And on the note of holiday club, are the kids only sale until this Sunday. So if you haven't got yours and if you still want to get in, um, I think we got 89 people signed up already. So if like we got a few more spaces left, because Zoom, with Zoom, like we got a uh, amount of people we can host. So there's a few more spaces left. So if you do want to get in the holiday making fun, we're going to be live every single morning between 10 and 11, not live, 
on Zoom. <laughs> We're gonna be on Zoom between 10 and 11. Um, we will be like live in the Zoom, it won't be recorded, but we will be in Zoom between 10 and 11 every single morning um, from Tuesday to Sunday before Christmas and then Tuesday to Sunday just after Christmas for 12 days. I really can't wait. Last year it was such a good fun. Um, Joan saying, I think my Christmas bundle has just arrived. I'm resisting opening the box. Oh, bless you. Lucy said, I got my kit yesterday. They were shipping them out for Monday. So much in the bundles. Yeah, I really swapped the bundles around and like uh, I wanted to put different things in it, what we had last year. So it will be good. Good morning, Joan. Nice to see you, Elaine. Good morning. Right. Okay. So I'm very quickly going to show you the website and then I am going to... I'm going to go down and show you them in real samples. We have got we have got some of the samples made up and some of them I can just show you the beads because uh, it's like there's so many of them. Okay, so let me share my screen. Here we go. So by now you know where to go. You're gonna go to totallybeads.co.uk. You're gonna go, click on jewelry making learn to make jewelry and the jewelry making in there then you're gonna go in there we've got many different categories here do check them out there's videos pdfs downloads the whole lot <laughs> kits everything is lives in this category and you're gonna go into video tutorials now as i scroll down like this was natalie was doing this the other day i really love this earrings i really i need to make one of those for myself but at the moment with the decorating and everything else christmas coming up i just uh, my house is upside down <laughs> so i think after christmas be, be, between christmas and new year's i'm gonna take a few days and i'm just gonna make stuff for myself <laughs> so i'm already already planning that right okay gemstone hugs and kisses jewelry so I'm going to scroll down and you can see we have got a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, we got 24, 24 different one um, in the category. Now there's 10% off of them until Sunday. The price reflects mainly the gemstones because some of the gemstones are more expensive and some of them are cheaper. So that's that's why they are, some of them are a little bit more expensive and some of the kits are, are cheaper as well, but 10% off until sunday right okay i'm gonna go back up to the top there is loads there is really really loads look like there's, there's a gemstone there for everybody good morning robin good morning debbie right okay so i'm just gonna click into this one this is the amethyst one and actually that's why i have that on my mats as well to show you first um so in the kit like we're gonna we're gonna do how are we gonna do the hugs and kisses in this one we're gonna work by unit by unit by unit so we're gonna do the base we're gonna do the top and then we're gonna move on now the method is exactly the same for the bracelet and the necklace as well however they're gonna be different um, number of seed beads involved in there I'm gonna show you the bracelet and then the instructions will take you to how to do the necklace as well so what you get in the kit you get a full strand of the gemstone and these are not a small just gemstones they're 12 millimeter gemstones so they're quite nice um not too big but and, and the way how i wanted to design this that i wanted us to kind of have the hugs and kisses feeling but i wanted to see as much as we can the gemstone itself so you got a 12 milliliter strand of gemstone gemstone they're a full strand then you got 10 millimeter pearls you got six millimeter pearls you got three millimeter pearls you got your seed beads and you got two strands of the crystal um and with this one as well like you can make the for the necklace bigger or smaller as, as the front piece i reckon um so i like to do like a medium size and then just use the beads um to going all the way to the back of the neck so kind of carrying the front design towards the back with the beads but not necessarily have to do a full sort of hugs and kisses going all the way around right okay so <laughs> phoenix creation says morning kitty hi all from very frosty glen thrones i hope i said that you have said that one right okay so what we're gonna do i'm gonna come back here and we're gonna go down on the mat. I think I'm gonna have a bigger picture. So we have got a bracelet we're gonna do. I have added toggle class in there now in the website. So you get two toggle class and you get a pair of earrings as well. However, what you can do, if I bring in, it will zoom in even more, this is not at this one. Um, 
however what you can do is there is an option there that if you wanted sterling silver clasps you can add it at the bottom of the bottom of the uh, description there is just sort of an add-on so needle and thread is an extra and sterling silver toggles and earring is an extra as well so if you wanted to if you're gifting it or wanted to make it extra special you have got the option as well in there but i didn't want to just automatically include sterling silver in every single one of the kits because it really would have put the price of the kit up so i just kind of like i let you decide if you want the sterling silver findings and obviously there is printed instructions as well as well good morning Gwen. good morning joy maxine good morning as well right okay I am going to... <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Phoenix Creation has said, I've, I, I would have written the easier lol. Our Scottish place names, Glen Rothies. Did I say that right now? I hope I did. <laughs> she said, loving the purple. The purple is amethyst. Right, okay. So I'm going to click back on the website and I'm going to grab the kids as we have them on the website. So, like, um, let have, so let, let's have some order to it. Right. I got a whole big tray of them here so the very first one is the amethyst on the website which is this one so if I show you the back of it you can see that's the size of the amethyst beads in there and I love working with gemstones because they're very natural they have been obviously carved out, carved out of the material and then polished so therefore they always got this cool kind of touch to them and very very smooth because they polished them for quite a long time and in every single one of them if I bring this up and I'm really hoping this this will just focus on it you can see that as the amethyst was there is sort of loads of different little bits of sort of lines and like little little sort of uh, patterns in there so this is the amethyst so the necklace I have made I used 13 at the front of the necklace. I had to quickly count it because I'm thinking, did I use 11? Did I use 13? Did I use 15? I tend to use 11, 13 or 15 in most necklaces. So the 13 is kind of a nice a medium a size. And then just adding and the, uh, the method how you're going to be adding this sort of extended um, part of the necklace for the sides going all the way back to the clasp is exactly the same how you do the clasp on the bracelet as well. I'm not sure what I've done with the earrings. They were here a minute ago. And I was like, oh, shall I wear the earrings? Because, because you can't really sort of see the necklace on me, but you could have seen the earrings. They will turn up just in a minute. But let's keep going. So that's the amethyst as well. In some of the kits, I have chosen the crystals and the pearls to kind of blend in with this gemstone. And some of the kits I've chosen that it makes them stand out. So that's the amethyst. The next one is the bloodstone. I really love this one as well. What I love about bloodstone that it, it has, and this is that hasn't the necklace hasn't been finished, just done done sort of the front piece and the bracelet for you. Um, so you can see how it kind of looks like and the, the clasp are not on the bracelet either. Let me zoom in because you really want to see this more closer up. Thing. There we go. No, no, wrong one, that one. That one, I'm going to zoom in on the camera here a bit more. There we go. So what I love about this, this bloodstone that within the stone as well, there is an overall color here. However, they are sort of this greeny and sort of this very nice auburny sort of, am, almost like I would say amethysty, but there is no amethyst there, but sort of amethysty, the sort of coppery, purpley colors in there. And I just really love something like this. What's great about something like this, that you can wear with loads of different um, clothes because you can wear it with something which is more browny. You can wear it with something which is more green. You can wear it with loads of different colors. So this is the bloodstone. Next one is the howlite. Let's pop it back into the right. Now, I love this one. So this one, what I did with this one, I have chosen the seed beads to be white because what I wanted to do, I really wanted the rest of the beads to stand out. And you can see how much difference does it make when you have got a, let me just get those ends out of there. When you have got 
seed beads which are different color to the design as well it's really really changes a little bit more um i would say like it's got like a little bit of summery feel to it but i do wear i have got white jumpers as well so i do wear white quite a lot and with a pair of jeans this would go perfectly in the winter as well so this is the blue how light so the next one is the carnelian and i'm gonna have to jump to the other box for that one i'm going going in the way how they are added onto the website i got two boxes so many to show you so the carnelian is this one so this one hasn't been made up but i'm going to show you the beads um again look at that look at how nice is the all the little patterns on the gemstones as well i just love it now this one is i have chosen somewhat sort of a salmon pink pink seed beads to, to go with it and the crystals and the pearls are reflecting the and there's two different um sort of the six mil is a little bit darker and the three mil and the 10 mil is a little bit lighter in this one so this one will go together perfectly because if you look at it the salmon pink seed beads will pick up those few um, there's not a few there's quite a few actually in here which has got the salmon pink color in the carnelian and with the golds i wanted to add a, a sort of a darker and a lighter shade, shade in there because again we got darker and lighter shades in there as well right next one is the unikite where are the unikite in here that is where are the unikite hmm i might have to jump on is it this one yes it is this one there we go so with the unikite the beads the the, the pearls were on the top of it again this is a very lovely um very lovely color i love 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 how the different patterns come up on this one as well i've chosen a darker seed beads to go with it your pearls are this beautiful cappuccino color i guess <laughs> coffee color i love these ones they kind of sort of blend in perfectly and we got bronze crystals to go with this one this is going to be a little bit darker but why i stayed more on a brown um, sort of uh, colorway for the rest of the beads because the unikite has got this beautiful little reds in there and i think they're going to really stand out once you put them together morning Teresia. right okay so next one is the crystal quartz and i got again i'm gonna how should i do this i'm gonna put this on here is that gonna be okay if not that's gonna be too heavy for it give me just one second i'm gonna move this little tray around here and then i can rest this on here that's it very good right next one is the crystal quartz i did with this ab so this is again perfect jewelry for perfect bridal jewelry really and you can see I, i'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it up i'm going to try to bring it up and i'm hoping it will focus on it there we go oh, i want you to focus on it the crystal the because they got those little the, the little bubbles inside them they just I, th I just i think it looks really sweet i love it so i try to keep this as clear as i can and it's like i can see like you can't really see much from behind it but uh, if i put it on here on my top you can see it properly better on a darker black background but it's the perfect brighter jewelry as well so next one is the green aventurine i love the color in this one <laughs> i love anything tealy so this one because the venturine is green but it has got a tiniest bit of blue hint in there it goes perfect with tealy colors as well we got teal pearls we got tealy color crystals as well and they made the crystal sort of a little bit of a lighter color but again i think they really bring out the adventuring behind it next one is the green dragon vein agate which is going to be in this box and it's this one i love this one as well and i love the name how they 
name these gemstones. Now, I'm going to bring this up because this is, again, can you see that all those little details in the gemstones, you can see my lamp <laughs> in there reflecting, but can you see all those little veins, all those little, like, I, I just think they are so good. Right, this one, again, I mixed the pearls. I got a couple of different colors. So for the larger one, I gone with sort of a greeny one. Then I gone with a more browny one for the six mil. So you're gonna have, but you will still have both in the necklace and the earring as well, because you're always using the three mil, which is the same as the 10 mil. You got sort of a darker seed beads to go with this one as well. And the crystals are these beautiful sort of grayish browny color to go with it as well so that's the green dragon vein next let me go a few more to, to go is the gray agate now this one i was as I, I was working on this last night as i was finishing the instructions and this one is again i'm going to show this up nice and close to you I love this color. It's gray, but it has got a hint of blue in there. It just, I don't know, this is good with jeans. This is good with sort of something if you're wearing something gray, but I love, love, love this color. And I love this stone as well. Sometimes when you look at a gemstone and it's perhaps like you say, it's too gray or like you can't really say it's boring because they all, all got lovely qualities in there, but it's depending on what other beads to add with them as well. Next one is the Labradorite. Oh, and that's on that tray as well. I love the Labradorite. Labradorite is one of my favorite stones. I am always drawn to Labradorite. It's it's the shine or I think I look at this uh, from if I'm showing to a uh, from uh, the back of the bracelet you can see it so it's the shine but you have got those sort of the, the even the gray in there is sort of like a multicolor gray I just really love it um, and I added sort of a, a turquoise seed beads gray crystals because I didn't want to overpower it too much and the seed beads are aqua in there as well i love i love this one right okay next one is the dragon vein oh i love this one so this is where are you is here the dragon vein again is a multicolor it's a multicolor Kind of gemstone and what's the good about this that it's a multicolored gemstone so therefore again we can wear it and we can take it with so many different colors so I went to more of a watermelon -y color like a dark watermelon color with the seed beads and the pearls and therefore because we have got the green so when you look at the veins within the gemstone itself they kind of sort of got a green tint to them so added sort of a darker green crystals to it so i think this is going to look really nice made up as well but it's all about the balance so when you have got less sort of veins less um that sort of color in there then add less of that and more of more of the overarching color what you want to make it to right okay next one moving on i'm trying to speed this up here i want to really show you all of them so the next one is the mukite i love mukite Mukite again is one of those stones which has got many colors in there and I just added sort of a browny color pearls and a beigey color seed beads in there but at the same time the seed well the seed beads got like a tiny bit of sort of like a pinky purpley tint to them so I do really love how it all comes together the crystals are yellow because the majority of the beads are sort of this sunshine yellow or mustard yellow in the kit. So, so taking it back to that sort. And then you can see like how they kind of stand that but disappear at the same time. I love it. Next one is the moss agate, which is going to be here. There we go. Moss agate. This is what I love about the agates, that they are all kind of have got a little bit of multicolor going on in them. And a lot of them have got like veins, have got so tiny little intricate details in them that it's so nice to, so nice to work with them. So 
the pearls we have got it's kind of teal but it's not really as dark as the teal it's like a dark very dark aqua color we got the aqua crystals and the seed beads as well and again i think this is going to go very nicely together because if you just had the, the sort of a darker teal color it would make it too dark the overall necklace so we need something to brighten it up just a little bit but not too much Sorry, I'll be, I'll be done with, I'll be done with them just in a second. So the next one is a perin, perinit, which is, a, this one is a very, like I, when I was looking at this one, it's, can you see as I'm moving it, can you see all those little veins like sort of coming and going? I just love it. Like again, there, I just, I, I am so awed by how all of these, form and how you make like you know how all the different um patterns form form in the gemstones and stuff and it's all natural so i went more of an ivory route with this one because i really wanted to want this to stand out once it's made up so your pearls and crystals more of it sort of an ivory lemon sort of a very light lemony color like a, a, sort of a hint of Maybe in the crystal, it's, based, it's more like a buttery. I'm not really explaining it very right this morning, aren't I? And more like an ivory, buttery, buttercreamy color, the pearls are. So there, and then when I choose in the seed beads for it, so I take, with the seed beads, I've taken it back to sort of a gray color. But this is the black diamond seed bead, so they have got a little bit of sort of warm, um, like a um, glow to them because of what's inside them. Right, next one is the purple fluorite. And I just see that one somewhere. Where did I put the purple fluorite? I think I did have I did have one of the kits which was missing. Was it this one? When I was putting the throw squirts. No, 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 no. When I was looking at them this morning. Um, I'm going to jump this one just for a second because I know that uh, I was missing. Yeah, I think the the, the fluorite, the snowflake, uh, I am um, I haven't got with me. So not the snowflake is that okay? I'm going to jump this one just for a second. Next one is red agate. This one is partially made up. We got the front and the bracelet made up. Now what I wanted to do with this one, because red agate is such a nice and rich color on its own, I didn't want to take it more towards um, a red color or an orange color. You could have taken this to the orange as well, but how nice does it look with the champagne colors? I just love how then they stand out. So this is why I said some of the colors I have chosen to blend in and some of them I've chosen to stand out. And this one is, is just a beautiful, beautiful mix. I was really, really happy with this one. Next one is the red jade. Now, this is called red jade. However, this one has got like a really dark pink tint to it. So I, when I was putting this together, I was like thinking, so which color am I and I'm gonna play into more the pink <laughs> or the red side of it so in the end I decided to go with the magenta pink for the pearls but I have decided to go with a very dark red crystals so again this is gonna come together very very light nice then we got the beautiful seed beads there as well okay next one that's lucy's color i guess <laughs> next one is the rose quartz the rose quartz so what i did with this one is i got a rogue thread here i love rose quartz it's such a beautiful soft pink color and what i did with this one is i've chosen the larger pearl more of a creamy sort of color pearl to go with it with a hint of pink in there but the smaller because i didn't want if if i chosen the same color for this for the 10 millers i chosen for the six mil and the three mil i think it would have been too much so for the six mil i just want a little bit of pop of a darker color in there and then we have got there's another strand of crystal we have got lighter crystals 
and we have got a lighter color seed beads as well but because we got the six mil and the three mil a little bit darker it's just going to give you a pop of color in there to show up we more than halfway through i don't know how many um how many the next one is the sardony sardonyx um this one is where is this one is it this one yes is it this one is it this one yes so again we got sort of darker gemstones but can you see like they have got sort of veins in them again i went to more of a sort of a brownish red color with this one so because the gemstones are quite dark i wanted to lighten the necklace itself and we got this beautiful autumn rainbow crystals in there which is like sort of pick up models of different colors in there the seed beads are somewhat a little bit tuned down as well so overall it's gonna look uh, very nice together right next one is the tiger eye which i have got here i almost threw, have we go half an hour and i haven't showed you all of them but i'm gonna have to gonna have to start the demo it's very easy the steps are very easy how to do it so that's all good so with this one um, the, the tiger eye I went more of a um, peachy color peachy color pearls with it bronze crystals because we have got sort of the peach coming through in the tiger eye and the bronze as well so bronze crystals and your seed beads are kind of somewhat neutral I really love this one as well next one is the unikite we got four more <laughs> and then we don't we got four more and we done the unikite which is where is the unikite oh, i just seen the unikite there we go so with the unikite i love unikite because unikite is predominantly green however what have you got with unikite is you have got those beautiful rose colored um little all sorts of different shapes in there so what I have um, added to this one is rose color pearls. So this one is really going to stand out when you make it up. Rose color pearls, we got sort of an olivey greeny seed beads, which then goes back to the unikite itself and rose color crystals as well. This is going to be beautiful. I'm thinking go back to demo with this one because I really want to see, but this is going to be because you're going to see. I'm going to leave this on the side. Let's let, let's see if you can demo with this one. It's just such a beautiful color. Right, next one is the white howlite. I love this one. I went, because it's like the white howlite, the, the, the gemstone is white. So what I wanted to do is to, when you look at something, you can either blend in what's happening inside the gemstones or you can highlight it out now if i would have put it white crystals and pearls next to this one these veins would have disappeared somewhat but because i have they they, they wouldn't have disappeared but you like the way how you look at them they would have been much more softer and then because i added all silver to it it will be it will be um bringing out the veins themselves so you can see them more and more i just love it right next one is the white onyx now this one is totally white so on the white onyx there is no no sort of patterns what you can see at all and i love this because when it's like there is a depth to the gemstone and let me bring it up i'm not i'm not sure if the 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 camera is going to pick it up but there is like even in that bit it's not going to pick it up there is a little bit of depth to the gemstone so you can see that um in some places it's a little bit milky and some places a little bit more solid but when you have got something like this when it's only one color the gemstone it's you can you can apply any color with it because it will bring it out so what i wanted to do is to have a, a really beautiful aqua pearls with it and and the seed beads as well but however the crystals i choose in this milky color and i think it just goes together so nicely right last but not least is the yellow jade again for the yellow jade i have chosen these 
beautiful creamy colors this is more the other one was more buttercream this one is more ivory i would say and this beautiful yellow crystals to go with it so again this is going to make up very well right okay i'm going to very quickly pack this away so i can um i can get started on the demo right move this over there i'm going to demo with this one because i just really love the unicite and how or like you can tell me i can i can demo with any colors because i got all of them here but i just really love how they come together and i think they're going to really stand out and you will be able to see very well how the patent forms right to start with i'm going to show you the bracelet and then the necklace is based on the bracelet as well it's all in the instructions the number of seed beads and how you pick it up it will be the number of seed beads will be different for the necklace right i'm gonna need a green i'm gonna use a green one for that a green thread quickly grab out a needle i'm gonna use a new needle and then let's get started so let's just cut this up now you can when you get your kit you can kind of take the beads off the strand and what you can do is you can have a look like how um how much sorry my, my phone just went off and it's on silent but uh my lap is not silent so it started to ring there so um you can have a look which one has got more of pink in there next to the green and which one has less so you can cherry pick which one you want for an earring like for example if i look look, look at them on that that one has got quite a lot of pink and this one has got quite a lot of green so you can either pick them up at random or you can choose specific beads for the necklace and the bracelet and the earring i'm just going to use them at random so i'm just going to take them off so for the bracelet we're going to need our three mil six mil and our crystals so very quickly just gonna cut them up make a little pile here on my mat and we can get started facebook user good morning there we go and the three mil there we go and the crystals as well it's a very easy pattern so let me know in the chat if you have done hugs and kisses before and i just love a hugs and kisses pattern i think it's just so so pretty and how you did it before because usually when we do hugs and kisses we do the base all the way from one side to another and then we come back on the top which is great however when you're coming back on the top on the pattern sometimes you can make the whole of the all of the bracelet or necklace or, or whatever you're making it is smaller so it can be a little bit of a challenge right okay so let's get started come and say coffee time so i'm going to take a sip of my coffee so the kids are 10 percent off until sunday so i'm going to start and by picking up i'm going to pick up and i want to zoom back in so you can see a bit better there we go so i'm gonna start i'm gonna pick up just move this out of the way i'm gonna pick up a gemstone i'm gonna pick up two seed beads i'm gonna pick up a six mil another two seed beads and another gemstone another two seed beads and a six mil another two seed beads and take all of these beads down so we got gemstone two seed beads hold on pearl two seed beads gemstone two seed beads pearl two seed beads so this is our base so I'm going to go through and I'm going to go through all of them to have a really good base because I don't really want to knot my and the, although the gemstone have got quite a large hole so the knot could definitely live in the gemstone but sometimes that's not possible so I'm going to go all the way around just to give myself a very good sort of base 
here rather than knotting the end and the beginning together but if it makes you feel sort of better that you have a sturdy finish then do knot the base and the end together so i'm all the way around and then i'm going to come through the gemstone so kind of if I look at this, this is my starting point where my tail is at the up here and I want to get to the other side before I start my X on the top, if I start the kiss on the top of my hug. So I'm going to go to gemstone, the seed bead pearl to seed bead and the neck gemstone. So this is my first unit done. So in traditionally we would start in the second base unit, but before we start the second base unit, what we're going to do, we're going to add our top cross on there. So I'm going to pick up two seed beads, crystal, seed bead, three millimeter pearl, seed bead, crystal, two seed beads. And as I'm exiting at the top here, I'm going to come from the bottom. So this is the second gemstone on the first gemstone. I'm going to come from the bottom towards the top and just go through the gemstone itself and I pull this up. So this is gonna give me sort of a half, the half, first half of the X. Then I'm gonna pick up two, I'm gonna repeat this again, don't worry. Uh, two seed bead and a crystal and a single seed bead. I already have got the three millimeter pearl on there. So I'm gonna have to cross down. So I'm at the top, I'm crossing towards the bottom into this pearl in the middle and then I'm going to pick up in reverse my just picked up so I'm going to pick up one seed bead one crystal and two seed beads and I'm going to go up from the bottom on the second gem so I have got the first set already done so I have the base done and I done my X on the top so from here I'm going to go on and every single one of them you're going to be doing the same. I'm going to pick up two seed beads, a six millimeter pearl, another two seed beads. I'm going to pick up my gem, then two seed bead, six millimeter pearl, and another two seed bead. And I'm gonna go, I'm exiting at the top in the second one. So I'm gonna come from the bottom so I can form a nice circle, my base circle, my hug for the next unit. Now, before I start to add the axis, I'm gonna come along to the other side. You can do this, uh, like you could add the X now and then go to the other side. I just find it easier to come through the other side while I only have the base and it also tighten up the base somewhat so I've made my wave made, made my way to the third I'm coming out of the third gemstone and once again I'm gonna pick up two seeds a crystal a single seed pearl single seed crystal and two seed beads. I'm exiting at the bottom. So I'm, I want to take this across. So I'm going to come, I'm going to jump back one gemstone and come down on the second one. Just make sure your X is ending up on the same side as you go through. And then I'm going to pick up two seed beads, a crystal, a single seed bead. I'm going to cross up in the, oh, just the pearl. I don't want to go through the seed bead. There we go. And then a seed bead, crystal, two seed beads. And I come down on the very last gem. And I'm going to go along and I do this pattern. And it grows very quickly because you're working with larger beads. Right, if anybody's got any question, please put a cue in front of your question so I can make sure I can address it for you. I'm going to go and do another couple of units while we're talking, chatting. And then I can show you how to attach the class, which is so, so easy to do on this one. So two seeded pearl, two seed bead, 
gem, two seed bead, pearl, two seed bead. And then we are ready to add our next base. Exiting got the bottom, so I'm going to come from the top and just pull it up. I'm going to go along until I come out of the gemstone I just added. There we go. And then I'm going to add my X on the top. Good morning, Brenda from North Carolina. What time is it in North Carolina? I do, I'm so I'm so fascinated by time zones. It's just but I always forget like I'm fascinated by time zones, but probably not the best of geography. So I'm always fascinated what time is where. All right, I'm adding my X on the top now. And then I'm gonna complete it's like half of the X. I'm gonna complete this and then move along very grows very, very quickly. Now the way how your threads, your tail and, and your thread is that you can quite easily continue the other way if you run out of thread on this side. So what I usually say is to do as many beads. And when you come to, you only have maybe a foot worth of thread, then add the clasp on this side and you can continue your beadwork the other way. And then you don't have to join a new one in. I left the bobbin on. I always suggest to leave the bobbin on. Um, as you are beading. I love the color. Can you see how it comes together? And it's only got that little bit of rosy color in there, but it's because we're using the pearls rosy color and the crystals, it kind of really picks it out in there. And uh, you could forever kind of sort of turn it and you would see a different pattern in there. Jenny's saying, I haven't done this before, but I have been watching to try this to follow for a while now. It's a really lovely stitch. I really do. Um, I do recommend it's very beautiful and you can do it with all sorts of different beads and all sorts of different sizes we have done we have done a brace that's called Lucy before which was which was based on this sort of method but the X is a kind of sitting in between the beads we have done hugs and kisses Natalie's done hugs and kisses as well it's one of the base ba one of the most no, I, I wouldn't say basic stitch because it's like it's based on right angle weave, obviously, because you're going around in circles. But it's one of the first stitches that um, that really worth knowing because you can do just by changing the size of the beads, just by changing maybe the shape of the beads, you're going to end up with a completely different pattern in there. And I just it's so easy and you can just keep on going and going with it. And you will have a bracelet in in this case because the beads are larger you will have a bracelet in no time so it's quite fairly quick make i'm just adding the next one the only thing what you kind of need to bear in mind as you go every time you add a new unit and you're gonna you know you finish that unit and you move on to add the next unit your thread is going to either exit at the top or at the bottom of the last bead and then you kind of just alter that to go in the right direction but that's the only thing you have to be careful or you can flip flop your bracelets but you still need to make sure that your axes are going to get to the right side there we go you're going to you're going to keep on going until you have got the right length right i think any more any questions about the stitch I think everybody kind of gets it. I'm going to grab one of the bracelets, which is done and just missing the class because I want to show you a couple of little sort of tricks what you can do. Brenda, good morning. Uh, he, says, he says it's 5.46. Good morning. Yeah, <laughs> 5.46. I'm so bad. Like I can't, um, my optimal wake up time is about 7 o'clock. If I have to, I can do like 6.30, but if I have to get up, anything earlier than that like I'm tired usually the whole day oh she says I have been up since 2 a.m. making Christmas candy oh wow what sort of candy do you make and how do you had how, how do you make it do let us know I do really want to do something um, this year I want to I might do the Hungarian honey biscuits I'm just gonna grab one 
This one hasn't got too much of a thread, so which one shall we like? Shall we like this one? This is this is quite close. Right, and we're just gonna grab this one and we're gonna add the the end on this one because this one is already a bracelet length. So once you are there and you want to do the end of your necklace or bracelets, it's pretty much the same way you're gonna do for both in the necklace when you add your necklace you just before you picking up your clasp you're just gonna add an extension of beads in between as long as you need to make the side and the back of your necklace so in this case and let me just grab the beads for the end all I really need is seed beads and I'm gonna use a small three millimeter pearl and a couple of crystals to kind them fitting in with the very last loop there and we can need a few seed beads a clasp and a three millimeter crystal a three millimeter not crystal seed bead and a pearl <laughs> oh god what's happening with me this morning right very quickly thread this needle and we're going to add the clasp on here now clasp uh, is toggle clasp what i have chosen you can change the toggle clasp i'm just going to use a normal toggle clasp on this one but you can in the when you buy the kit there is an option that you can upgrade to sterling silver which if you may if i was making this as a present for somebody i would definitely upgrade because it's just a little bit more special but i didn't want to add it for every single kit because it does add quite a bit of um six man 50 onto every single kit then so do choose the option if you would like to right okay so as i'm coming out i'm just gonna go through this last gemstone so as i'm coming out of this gemstone the very last gemstone here and i want to add a clasp on there very easy to do i'm just gonna grab one out of the bag i'm gonna pick up the pattern sort of half the pattern of my x so <laughs> half, half of the the very last pattern but i made on the top so i want to pick up two seed beads no actually not not quite exactly the same two seed beads crystal i'm going to pick up another two seed beads and the pearl because we only have got one seed bead before the pearl but i'm going to add two because i want to kind of go halfway around with this to my gemstone then from here all i'm going to do is pick up three seed beads i'm going to go through the loop on the clasp i'm going to pick up another three seed beads and this time i'm going to be going backwards on myself so i'm going to go through just the pearl nothing else just the pearl Roxy, it's okay. It's only the postman. Roxy, it's okay, love. <laughs> She's just telling me the postman's here. <laughs> I'm going to pick up two seed beads, a crystal and another two seed beads. And then I'm going to come through from the other side of the very last gem. Very last gem stand and pull this in the middle. Now, of course, I want to wiggle it a little bit, make it sure it's nice and tight. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go up and around all those beads to reinforce this connection with the class because the most part, the most sort of used part of the bracelet where you tug it most where you know when you're taking it off or putting it on is always by the clasp so i kind of like to make sure that we are double go through or if sometimes triple in this way you can go to triple as well because you're working size 11 seed beads that have that really extra strong connection because it's nothing worse <laughs> I mean, I suppose it doesn't really happen to me because I do double, triple go through it, but it has happened to me when you're trying to put a bracelet, bracelet on and you're in a hurry and then it just breaks. So it's best to kind of have a strong connection right at the start. So I went to twice on here. I'm going to come through the gemstone again. Now, let's say I have added the clasp on. And then I'm going to measure because because the hugs and kisses, can you see like it's got a tiny bit of stretch in there. I have added the clasp on and trying it on my wrist and I'm thinking, hmm, 
This one is going to be just a tiny bit too big, like a half an inch too big. Go on, camera, let's focus on me. Uh, well, half an inch too big. So what you can do is kind of remedy and pull the bracelet together a little bit. So what we're going to do then, so if you have to make a bracelet a tiny, tiny bit shorter, I would probably maybe just less than half an inch is going to help us is running down all the outer side of your bracelet. So as I'm coming out of this gemstone, I'm gonna go seed bead, pearl, seed bead, seed bead, two seed bead, pearl, two seed bead. And I'm not turning in, I'm gonna run across. So I'm gonna go seed bead, pearl, two seed bead, pearl, two seed beads. And I'm gonna keep on running down on this side. And as I'm going down, it kind of pulls the bracelet a little bit together and in fact in the necklace you're going to do this because you're going to run along the top side to really nicely pull it together so just i could keep on going and go all the way down but i think sort of we will see so if i pull this tight can you see that's a little bit sort of buckling because it's making that that connection a little bit shorter so you can cheat a little bit if your neck if your bracelet is a tiny bit too big and this is important because you're working with big units so when you get to the end of the bracelet and you think well if i add one unit on it's going to be too big if i don't add that unit on then it's going to be too small so this is one of the options you have that you tighten it up by like that and if i pull it this one is going to sort of sit together a little bit. The other option you have is, we, the, you know, we're working with 12 millimeter units here. So 12 millimeter is half an inch is quite a big what you can add on or take off. The other thing how you can cheat is, is to have one less unit at the end. And perhaps instead of picking up three seed beads for the class, you pick up four <laughs> or five or instead of a smaller three millimeter pearl what you can also do is to pick up a six millimeter pearl to add here so again let's add another three mil to the length of your bracelet so it's depending sometimes this is the sort of all the downfall with working larger units because when you work with large units it's so great it grows so quickly but this is a downfall so we have to kind of adjust it a little bit at the ends and you can do like sort of i could have this on one side and on the other side where i will attach the the toggle the t-bar part of the toggle i can have maybe two pearls or three pearls or more seed beads there to to just for that length but um that's that's the only thing Ah, oh, can we sing? My body goes mad barking on the postman. Roxy's so good. Only growls to let you know. Uh, yeah, she's sometimes she would bark if if somebody like knocks on the door. She will bark a little bit. Give me a couple of barks to let me know that somebody's at the door. But other than that, she's really good. Um, and you know, so she's she's very good. Right. How, what do we think about this? Let me know in the comments if you got any questions. Very easy pattern today. It grows very, very quickly and really pretty. I just love all the different. I'm just going to bring in sort of the finished um, samples we have. Very nice and easy pattern to make. And very therapeutic as well. Working with gemstones. I always love working with gemstones. It's always kind of sort of cooler to the touch. And just really... I don't know. There's just a different feel about them than glass beads. They're just really nice to work with <laughs> in all what, whatever you make from them. And we did a gemstone bracelet about a month ago, the Serenity one, and that was that that was like gemstones were on the side of it as well. So the colors are similar, and there are similar gemstones as well. So you could check that one out as well because you could have. If you just wanted to, you know, you could make just a couple of necklaces with this one and then use the bracelet from that one if you match the gemstones up. But otherwise, you can 10% off until Sunday. Do check out the Christmas bundle as well because that's going to be, I think the last day you can purchase that is Sunday. And after that, that will be gone. And I'm kind of wait. 
I really cannot wait to, to do all the Zoom sessions. Natalie is going to be with us around the first week and the second week I got Laura and Alison. So we're going to have so much fun doing all sorts of different things. We're going to be doing chain mill, we're going to be doing a bit of wire work, we're going to be doing stitching, we're going to be doing loads of different things. That's so pretty. Thank for sharing. Thank you for coming and turning up. And I love this color, this Indiana Gate. I'm going to put it here. I feel like it needs to go there with the sort of the colors coming on. Brenda is saying that's so pretty. Thanks for sharing. Thank, thank you for like turning up and watching and every single time. Like without you, I wouldn't be here. So it's really thank you for coming and watching us like every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And, and for a very long time now, we've been doing these lives along like 2020, more, March the 23rd in 2020 when we started and haven't stopped and looked back since then, just really enjoy it as well. Jenny saying, thank you, Kitty, for a beautiful tu tutorial. Have a good day. You have a good day. Minnie is saying, thank you, Kitty. My order is in. Thank you. Uh, make love. Enjoy your day, Kimberly is saying. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Right, see, she's going now. I don't know what she had. <laughs> Maybe there's a delivery driver coming. I am waiting for FedEx. Right, okay, everybody have a beautiful day. Roxy, <laughs> just run under the table. Um, everybody have a beautiful. Can we see the Unikite again? Of course you can. Uh, the Unikite is this one, what we started today. So with the Unikite, what I did is I added, it's so pretty because it has got those rose sort of blemishes in the, within the stone itself. Instead of going more green, I went rose with the pearls and the crystals and the seed beads are green. So it kind of, let me just put it in the pop of my hand. It goes together really nicely. I love, I love how with gemstones you can work with all sorts of different colors. But I love it. I really, I really do love it. I love, um... I, uh, this is my favorite thing. It's putting colors together, really. Right, okay, everybody. Have a beautiful day. I am in, um, I'm doing the beat club today. So anybody who's in the beat club, I see you there at 12 o'clock. We're going to be doing pretty topples today. And um, other than that, I am actually not back <laughs> until we start the holiday club now. So this this is my last life for the, for the year, really. Um, I might do, I might pop up on the day before we start the holiday club just to say hello. Maybe we could have a little, little look back or a little, little bit of a log, you know, a chat. We will see. So um, this is my last life for the year. I cannot believe how long this year went, how, how quick this year went. And um, and I'm really looking forward to anybody to, who, is, who is joining us for the holiday club to see you in there. Bye, everybody. Take care, have a beautiful weekend, and if I don't see you before, have a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year.